Hi everybody, this is for Algebra 1. This is for uh, Chapter 8, Second Semester, Worksheet Number 5, The Odd Problems. We are to find uh, where, which graph to match up to. So this is going to cross the x-intercept at uh, negative 2 and also at 3. And the negative sign out front means it goes upside down. So we're looking for the one that crosses at 2, negative 2 and 3 and is upside down. So it looks like it's got to be C. So the answer to number one is uh, is the letter C. Number three looks like it crosses the x-axis at uh, three. Oh, I take that back. So we might be wrong on this one. It looks like they're all going to be a lot of them are going to cross there. Uh, this one also opens. Uh, this one opens upwards. Same idea as this last one. So I get x is equal to three because you set those equal to zero. X is equal to negative two. Set those equal to zero. So we're looking for 3 and negative 2, which is the same as this one, but we're looking for the one that opens upward. So crosses at 3 and negative 2. Let's come down a little bit. Uh, I just went way too far. So crossing at 3 and negative 2. 3 and negative 2. Nope, we've got to go up just a little bit more. Negative 3 and 2 opens up, so looks like F is our answer for this one because it opens up and it crosses at 3 and negative 2. Number 5 is going to cross at uh, x equals 1 and x equals negative 4. It opens upward, so we're looking for the one that crosses at 1 and negative 4. Uh, so that one's negative 1, negative 4, so let's see if we can find a, a different one. I went too far down on the screen. I apologize. So go ahead and look up that one. Uh, number seven is going to cross the x-axis at uh, positive one and also at positive four, and it opens up. So find that one that crosses the x-axis. That gets there. Number nine. This is going to cross at x equals 0, so it goes right through the origin, and then this one's going to cross at 4. It opens up because I have positive out front, so find the graph that works out with that one. Number 11 opens upside down because you have a negative out front, but then I have x equals negative 3, and it happens there twice, so that means this one looks like this, and it bounces off the x-axis at negative 3. So look for the one that's going down, bounces off the x-axis at negative 3 for number 11. Let's see, number 13. Looks like maybe it's down a little bit further. And then we want to start sketching these by hand and label the points. Okay. So when it's given to you in factored form, that means that we can solve where it crosses the x-axis. So that's going to be positive 1, which is right there. And that means positive 7, which is right there. And we're going to need to figure out what's halfway between those. So come in one, come in one. Looks like at 4 comma something, we're going to have our vertex. Well, I need to plug 4 in. That's an x value. I need to plug it in to get my y value. So I get 4 minus 3, or 4 minus 1, which is 3. And then 4 minus negative 7, which is negative 9, or negative 3, excuse me. I'm doing the math too quickly. And I get to negative 9, so 4 negative 9 is down here. And then I can pattern graph my lead coefficient's 1, so it's going to go right 1, up 1, left 1, up 1, and then right 1, up 3. So 1, 2, 3, and left 1, up 3. And then you'll notice you go right off 5, you get your normal thing. So that graphs out nicely. Number 15, remember this is one of those fat ones. It's going to open down and it's going to be fatter, okay? It's going to be fatter because that one half out front. So it's going to cross the x-axis at uh, negative 5, which is right here, because it's opposite of this. And then opposite of that is positive 3. And so let's figure out halfway in between them. So if we come in one, come in one, come in one, it looks like at negative 1, that's going to be where our vertex takes place. Negative 1 plus 5 is 4. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. So that's negative 16. Negative 16. And then half, negative half of negative 16 is positive 8. So at 1, 8, we get this. And then remember, because it's a half, it's opening down. I'm actually going to go right 2 down 1, left 2 down 1, 
and that's going to work out nicely to get the rest of our crap in there for us. Uh, move down. All right, on these, they want us to put them back together. So you realize if you get x equals 0, that means you just have an x value. And then x equals 5, so subtract 5, so you get minus 5. And then multiply together, so I'm going to get x squared minus 5x. That would be our quadratic for that problem. On this one, uh, that's going to give me x is equal to negative 3, so x plus 3. Because it's opposite, I'd have to add that over. And then also x plus 6 for the exact same reason. Multiply it out, so you're going to get x squared. Your outside terms are 6x, inside is 3x. So I get 9x plus 18. Last one, so remember it's opposite, so it's going to be x plus 1. Remember it's opposite, so it's going to be x minus 8. And then multiply it together, so you get x squared minus 8x plus uh, 1x is negative 7x minus 8. And so those are how you do those problems. You're just multiplying them back together. And that should take us to the end.